50 percent oh my god what is this company all about asts space mobile together with its subs develops and provides access to space space cellular broadband network wow what happens something got connected and turned on and so forth so climbing after the space space company said its first five commercial satellites will launch next month all right so their satellites go up into space and then they get connected and they give connections to subscribers and they will uh it very quickly start making money right now. They're, they're They're pretty much pre-revenue, right? They're, they're not making any revenue in 23. They made zero. So having said that they're probably going to go from zero to, I don't know, hundred million, 500 million. And that's really exciting investors. Now I would say that this is, um, this is a game that I don't play unless I know this company really, really well. And I know this industry really, really well, because a lot of things can happen. I was following a company in their industry by the name of Viasat. They, are doing the same thing where they launch satellites into space and they give people broadband connections. The only problem is they launched a satellite. It was a multi-billion dollar investment. They got up there, they hit the button to turn on and the darn thing wouldn't turn on. It was a complete loss of that investment. So a lot of things can happen in space. You know, you, you have a satellite go up there and it doesn't work. Uh, you can't call AAA to go fix a tire. You can't call NASA and say, hey, could you go fix our satellites? They're like, no, we got more important things to do. We're going to manage satellites or maybe for the defense department and things like that. So awesome that this stock went up 50%. Hopefully some people on the live stream had, you know, money in this company and made lots of money today. I hope you did. Uh, but this is not an investment for me, but it's pretty darn exciting to say the least. Uh, analysts are saying it's a strong buy, but it's being uh, priced at a premium of 29%. So obviously their analysis has to catch up with reality. All right. So let's take a look.